Usually you hear that food at the campus dining hall isn't exactly what you'd find at home. Well, our chef today is here to prove us otherwise. Please welcome Chef Bob Patton from Aramark Monarch Dining at Old Dominion University. He's making a couple of delicious dishes that, for us, that, you know, you might... Might make, might make mom just a little bit jealous. Bob, welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Thanks. thanks okay, uh, what are you making for us today? All right, we're going to have an Asiago crusted chicken breast with a mm -hmm. fresh fettuccine primavera. That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. uh, look, before we get started in cooking, uh, a little bit about Aramark and Monarch Dining. Uh, Monarch Dining, we serve the students on campus at Old Dominion University. Mm -hmm. We have uh, 20 locations campus wide between our three residential dining halls and retail locations. Uh, catering, uh, as well as the Ted Constant Center. Fresh local ingredients uh, uh, with a new fresh menu every day for mm -hmm. the students at Old Dominion, those lucky kids. <laughs> those lucky kids. All right, so listen, uh, Bob, why don't you get, get started All and right. walk us through the process. I'll All right. switch with you over here. We have a um, chicken breast here, mm -hmm. and we're just going to give it a little coating of Dijon mustard. And this is going to help hold our panko breadcrumb and Asiago crust. And we're baking this chicken as opposed to frying. And I'm just looking for a healthier option. Students on campus are always um, looking for that healthier option. Um, so we're always trying to address their needs and, and give them uh, the healthier choice. Yeah, which is good because there are so many choices on campus. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, you've got all kinds of food there with plenty of change. However, it's nice to get something home cooked that you guys specialize in. Uh, home cooked, fresh. Yeah. Uh, we try to use local ingredients whenever possible. Mm -hmm. uh, gets a little scarce in the winter, but right. now springtime's right around the corner. This dish is geared towards more of our springtime menu, so we're looking forward to those ingredients. So then you're talking about fresh and homemade. Right here is uh, something that you guys specialize in. Too. We have we have fresh fettuccine. Mm -hmm. uh, we cut this every day. We serve this every day at Cafe 1201, which is our largest mm -hmm. residential dining location. Uh, we have a pasta machine we imported from Italy. Um, so instead of the pasta coming from Italy, we have the pasta machine coming from Italy and the pasta made fresh every day. We have a whole wheat pasta here we're going to use Very today. nice. Okay, what's next, Bob? All right, we're going to start our pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. So I got a little herb oil going in the pan here. Uh, we have roasted garlic. And that's going to make up a good bit of the flavor of the sauce. And we're just going to get that going and let that start. I have zucchini and squash. Mm -hmm. Those little toss smelling good so far. Yes, it is. All right. Next, we have uh, some charred grape tomatoes, and we just char them real quick on a grill. Um, this brings out a good smoky flavor to them. And we're just going to let those kind of develop a little bit. And th this dish, along with the uh, fresh pasta, right off the menu at Cafe 1201. So uh, this is available to the students. Speaking of which, uh, for the students there at Old Dominion, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Breakfast, lunch, dinner, seven days a week. Seven days a week. Well, that's pretty nice. Yep. You kind of uh, spoil them, don't you? Uh, well, they deserve it. Yeah, they do. And we're, 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 very, um, we're very proud to serve the students. They're, uh, they're in our charge when they're there. They're away from home. So you know, we try to offer that comfort level. And, it, and it's not just the students there. Also, you uh, guys cater, and we, we do. You know, I've, I've eaten your food many a times over at the Ted Constance Center for basketball yep. games as well. Yep. We do uh, all the events at the Ted Constance Center, mm -hmm. basketball games, men's and women, um, concerts, events, that kind of thing as well. Mm -hmm. um, during football season, we do everything at Foreman Field, so it keeps us pretty busy. It's always a treat when we go over there covering games for sure. Just going to add a little white wine. We've got a little Chardonnay. Uh, just a little bit of fresh lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, and have a little bit of vegetable stock here. Okay, this is a good place to stop. Uh, when we come back in the next segment, Bob Patton from Aramark will wrap it up, and we'll see how it tastes in just a few minutes. Bob, great job. Thanks. We are back now with Chef Bob Patton from Aramark Monarch Dining at Old Dominion University. He's been making a baked Asiago crusted chicken breast. And uh, when we left, Bob, where was it? You put it in the oven, and now what? We have the chicken in the oven that's just about done. Mm -hmm. We have our sauce, which has uh, been simmering. That's just about ready to go. Um, right now, we're going to uh, cook our fresh uh, fettuccine. Just drop that in our boiling water. And this is a whole wheat fettuccine. 
that was handmade when? Just yesterday, today? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Yesterday, late afternoon. Uh huh. Very nice. Something that you offer at your dining hall for the that's, students at Old Dominion. Fair. Fresh pasta, cut every day. Okay. Very nice. And now we're going to start a uh, just a warm tomato bruschetta. It's going to top mm -hmm. the chicken. So we just have some minced garlic. Just have a little bit of diced tomato. A little bit of red onion. And this is just your typical bruschetta topping that you might have in a, on a hors d'oeuvre. Right. Um, just doing it warm just to top the chicken, just bring out some of the flavors. We have some fresh basil in there as well. So right now I'm uh, kind of jealous, wishing I could go back to school and take advantage of this. A little salt and pepper. If I was a student at Old Dominion, I wouldn't even take girls out on dates. I would just take them to the dining hall. Go to the dining hall. I, I'd just say, come on, Chef Bob, hook me up. And then this would... <laughs> So Just we have a little uh, fresh lemon zest mm -hmm. going into our um, pasta sauce. And then we're also going to finish with a little fresh grated Asiago cheese. We talked about spoiling the students. You uh, have, uh, you're spoiling all of us today. Well, this looks let's, amazing. Let's, let's hope. Uh, a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? What's your I'm originally from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. um, I've um, spent most of my career in Philadelphia. Um, a transplant to Virginia about a year and a half ago. How did you get started in, uh, in culinary? Uh, my grandmother had a catering business, so I grew up around it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at a very early age, she had me schlepping stuff around. And, right. Um, just, just grew up around it. Spent uh, some of my time in Philadelphia working for uh, the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in Philadelphia and owning restaurants in Philadelphia. And, and I know you do so much. What is it you like about it? Is it just the experimentation? Is it just pleasing people? Where's the satisfaction that you well, get? Well, uh, a little bit of both. It's, it's the satisfaction from mm -hmm. the customer, um, but there's... Uh, it's just the respect of it for me. Right. We're feeding people, you yeah. know, and, 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 you know, it's food and it's how we sustain ourselves. Yeah. Right? So it, it's, it's kind of got all that to me. And, and food should be celebrated and sitting down at a, at a nice fine cooked meal should be something that you cherish. And you know, I mean, if this is what they're offering the students at Old Dominion University, I mean, really, I mean, there's one good reason right there. You know, I'm looking, I've got two kids who are uh, college bound and I'm like thinking, you know what? Not a bad deal here at Old Dominion. <laughs> and, and, and sometimes we take food too lightly. It's, it's true. And we, we treat it with respect. And, and some students will just go straight for the chicken nuggets or whatever. And, 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 and that, that's fine, too. We have those options. And, yeah. and, you know, the comfort food is definitely there for the students. Uh, macaroni and cheese night. Yeah. Busy night. Of course it is. But you said you also you offer a healthy uh, menu for, for, for an option that a lot mm -hmm. of students do take advantage yeah. of, which is good. Uh, fresh, fresh pasta. We've got a huge salad bar. Um, we have a gluten-free station for the students. Very nice. um, we're we're accommodating those um, you know needs there. Um, so there are a lot of different options for the students. All right, Chef Bob, plate right. this sucker up. Let's see what the final uh, the final looks like. Something tells me it's going to look amazing. All, All the right. color and the smell. It's just uh, once again, we wish we could share the smells with you guys at home, but it just doesn't work like that. We need to come up with some sort of TV where you can just pump the smell in there. Like a scratch and sniff one. Scratch and sniff TV, exactly. A little balsamic vinegar to finish uh -huh. off our bruschetta. Very nice. Chicken looks good, nice and crunchy. You go ahead and do your uh, the finishing touches there, Bob. Chicken breast on top. Uh -huh. Pardon me one sec. You go right ahead. We've just got our tomato bruschetta. Mm -hmm. It's going to go right over top. And that is your finished meal, a little yeah. garnish. A little garnish of basil. And what meal right would again. you'd also have to have something for dessert, and you've also brought along something really special for us, your uh, Monarch cookies. Tell me about this. Yeah, we have our ODU Big Blue Paul cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a sugar cookie, um, you know, in honor of our ODU's mascot, the lion, and, and Big Blue. Um, so we're, you know, very proud of those and very delicious. Good okay, so uh, the students get this on a daily basis, but if you are going to a, an event over at Old Dominion at the Ted Constance Center or maybe at Foreman Field, you can also take advantage of the food of Aramark. Good job, yep, Bob. Thanks. As always, visit the ODU campus at your leisure or uh, register for a campus tour, odu.edu, or call 683-3000. Bob, great job. Looks amazing. Thanks so much. Appreciate thanks. it.